Oh my god! Hello everyone! Thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. This is Amazing Janus and if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be updated once I uploaded my newest and upcoming videos. And guys, for today's reaction is I'm gonna react about how Malaysia did the impossible. So guys, for today, I'm so very excited because this is my first time that I'm going to react about Malaysia. And... That's why, I don't know, because I feel that uh, this will be gonna inspire everyone. And I'm so excited to watch this because it was so very interesting and it was about, uh, about everything that's happened right now. So let's see how they, how they survive, how they, how they solve this problem, how they make a team work right so without further ado let's go and watch this but before anything else guys i would like to thank and uh i would like to make a credit to the owner of the video which is other side of truth other side of truth thank you so much for your video i hope you will not be angry with me joke <laughs> so let's go imagine your country is going through a huge political crisis you have a new leader and several states have new governments to add to this not only is your country facing political crisis but also oh malaysia is a nice country huh? and then the worst thing that could ever happen happens the coronavirus hits malaysia malaysia was in some serious trouble but don't you ever underestimate the power of Malaysians. So brave. It's like they're having a teamwork here. Here are 15 ways that Malaysia did the impossible. Number 15, okay. donations and volunteer organizations. So many people volunteered and so many organizations helped out. For example, Imaret provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over wow. 3 million ringgit for medical... 3 supplies. million, oh my god! Number 14, top doctor. Dr. Noor Hassam Adula has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus. Wow, entire not world. Not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. Number 13, the movement Good. control order and the enhanced movement control order. These things are not easy to pull off and it took so many people and different organizations to work together to have them work. Number 12, it was dangerous, huh? Volunteer. That's why people so will not go out if you will see the trap. So many different things like food delivery. Number 11, building temporary hospitals. Malaysia was able oh. to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. For example, the largest agro park in Asia was able to be built into a hospital in three days. Number 10. Wow, in cluster. three days! The cluster complied with any order from MOH, and they never complained, even though they had to wait long hours in the heat. Number 9. Banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. Number 8. Universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food as well. Number 7. Stipend. Oh my god. Gosh, salute to all the students. Up to 1600 ringgit. Number six, ignoring politics. Opposition leaders came together and forgot about politics for the good of Malaysia. Now, that was so amazing five, about the politics. The Malaysia did a great job in protecting those that were most vulnerable, homeless and foreign workers. They were put in public halls and provided a tent. Number four, Malaysians returning home. Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, free food, and COVID-19 wow. testing during their two-week quarantine. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love 
for frontline workers. It was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the uh... frontline workers. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. Oh At God. the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. And so, Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners wow. made PPE. College students made PPE. Even a Malaysian born with no arms didn't let that Oh my god! And number one, most important, is teamwork. Oh my god. It didn't matter if you're a celebrity or an average person. It didn't matter your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. All Malaysians came together for the better of Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia was able to do the impossible. To go from a country that had three times more cases than any other country in Southeast Asia to now being one of the safest countries in the entire wow. world. I'd like to thank all the Malaysians that helped make this video possible. So many of you wrote to me, sent me videos and pictures, and specifically Pacific Baku, who's a motorcycle rider, let me take lots of his footage, along with Q Productions, who took beautiful drone shots. And you can find links to their channels in the description. So thank you to all of you who helped make this video possible. You know, guys, um... I'm a Filipino and I'm living in the Philippines and everyone uh, encounter about this problem and I, I've never seen uh, some countries that they're doing like this. Maybe some some of the countries they're doing the same thing about uh, in Malaysia but you, you did you see how Malaysia they work together, how they make them work, how they help each other. And I'm so very, I'm so very impressed about the students, about the person of, uh, which is disabled. Did you see how how he, how he created a cloth for uh, protection? It was so very, my God, <laughs> really, guys. I'm so very impressed. I'm really, really impressed, especially to the politicians. Did you see how if you if you will go to other country, they are they are um not all right i'm i'm not telling this in a bad way but uh, some of you knows that some of the politicians um some of them uh they cannot do same thing that malaysia did because it was very hard right now to do because of this uh, happening right now right but for them did you see how the politicians talk about this matter and then they're just want to be as one so that is very amazing and i'm so very glad and i'm so very happy that i watched this video this will be inspired all the people around the world and i hope everyone will watch this so now i'm interesting and no not interesting sorry i'm interested to watch uh some of the videos of malaysia because i know how they work hard how, how how they are very good and but all people is good but i see here in malaysia how they make them work to solve this problem to be to be uh, uh safe about this covid 19 right but i would say it's amazing and bravo really so salute to you all the malaysians and you will be proud to yourself if you're malaysian right so Again, guys, thank you for watching. This is amazing, Janus. And of course, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, of course. And um, sorry if I say something wrong, okay? And guys, if you want to react more about Malaysians, uh, if you want me to react more about all the Malaysian videos, anything about Malaysians, you can drop your comment down below. And I'm really happy if you will do that. So... Thank you guys again and I hope you enjoy watching and I hope you inspired to this video even you are not Malaysian, even you are not um, Filipino, <laughs> but 
everyone uh, deserve and everyone you can watch this to be inspired so thank you so much again and have a nice day everyone goodbye